This video goes over some polynomial terminology that you need to be familiar with in this unit. Uh, the first one is a term, which is a product of a coefficient and variables. For example, 3x, 4y squared, those are terms. The degree of, the, of a term is the sum of the exponents of its variables. So the first one here, our exponent is 3, so that means that is a third degree term. Here we have a 3 and a 2. So this is a 5 degree term. Here we have a 1 and a 7, so this is an 8th degree term. A polynomial expression is formed by adding and subtracting terms. For example, 3x plus 2y. The degree of a polynomial is the highest degree of any of its terms. So here we look at the first two. 4 plus 3 is 7. Second two, 2 plus 7 is 9. So this is a uh, ninth degree. We can classify a polynomial in two different ways. The first way is by referring to the number of terms it has. So if it has one term, we will call it a monomial. Two terms, we will call it a binomial. Three terms, a trinomial. And four or more, we refer to it as just a polynomial. The second way we can classify a polynomial is by referring to the degree. So here we have a polynomial example 5x. This would be degree 1, and this would be a linear term. Here, our highest degree would be this 2 here. This would be a quadratic. Here, we would have third degree, which is also called uh, a cubic. And our last one here, just the constant 4, this is degree 0. Uh, and our classification would just be a constant. So let's practice classifying some different polynomials. Uh, here, we are also going to need to expand, which is going to review some of our exponent rules and multiplying binomials. So our first one here, we would expand by getting rid of the brackets, collect our like terms. So we have 7x minus 2. Classifying this by degree would be linear or degree 1. Classification by terms would be a binomial because there are two terms here. Our next one, same thing, we can eliminate the brackets. Remembering that there is a minus sign here, so we have to apply that to everything inside the brackets. Then we can collect our like terms. So we would end up with 2y squared minus 10y minus 6. We have three terms, so this would be a trinomial. And our highest degree term is this one right here, the y squared. So this would be a quadratic or degree 2. Our next one, we're going to have to multiply two monomials together. Remembering to multiply the number part and the variable part, so this would be 24x cubed, adding the exponents on those two powers. So by degree, uh, this would be a cubic, because we have a degree 3 term. Classifying it by terms, it would be a monomial, because there's only one term. Our next one here, same thing, we're multiplying these two monomials together number times the number, and the variable parts times the variable parts. So we would get minus 15 m cubed n to the 7. Classification by degree, we'd have to add the 3 and the 7 together, so we would get a degree 10. And by terms, is still a monomial, because we only have one term. Example E is asking us to divide. Just like multiplying, we're going to divide the number part and divide the, ex uh, the powers by subtracting the exponents. So we would get 8x cubed, giving us a cubic and a monomial. It's still just one term. Okay, a couple more. Example F is asking it to divide again. Again, numbers and both variable parts. 
So minus 18 divided by 6 would give us minus 3. The x's would cancel out, and then we'd end up with y squared. So by degree, we would have a quadratic, or degree 2, because the highest exponent is a 2. And we still have a monomial, because there's only one term. Finally, we're going to do some more expanding in example g, remembering to multiply everything outside the brackets by everything inside the brackets. Uh, let's see, minus 4x squared minus 7x, and then we can collect our like terms. So 2x squared minus 4x minus 12, which is going to give us a quadratic because we have that degree quadratic, degree 2, and a trinomial because we have three terms after we've simplified everything. Our last example here is another expansion, so making sure we're taking what's outside the brackets, multiplying it by everything inside the brackets, and we're going to end up with 30x minus 15 minus 30x minus 12. And so this would give me, once I simplify, 30 minus 30 is 0. I would end up with minus 27, so this would be uh, a constant, or degree 0, and a monomial, because there's only one term after we've simplified. That is terminology that you should be familiar with as we go through this unit.